Hey everyone, today I'm talking about why I don't get hangry anymore. Have you ever heard that term, hangry? It's pretty much when you're so hungry that you are moody and irritated. I used to get hangry daily. I would get so moody and irritated and I would be downright mean to people because I was just so hungry that I didn't feel good and I didn't have the patience to deal with people sometimes just because I was so hungry. And I don't know if y'all have ever felt that way, but it's not a good feeling. So ever since I got control of my sugar addiction and I went on a low carb diet, I've pretty much stopped feeling that way. I don't get hangry anymore. And this is partly because low carb diets, they're high in protein and they suppress your appetite more than carbs. Examples of the proteins I eat are like grass fed beef, steak, um, organic chicken. Um, I eat like shrimp and salmon and uh, pasture raised eggs. Those are like examples of the proteins I eat on a daily basis. And it's also important to eat fats with your meals. Uh, fats can help you stay satisfied and satiated longer. So I try to include fats with each meal too. And the fats that I eat are like avocado, nuts, seeds. Um, also like your uh, salmon is a good source of fat and protein. Uh, you've also got your healthy oils like olive oil, coconut oil, um, things like that. Those are good sources of fats and they'll keep you full for longer. And, you know, I also want to say that, you know, I'm low carb, but that doesn't mean I'm no carb. That doesn't mean I don't eat carbs, but I just try to stick with the whole food um, versions of carbs like vegetables and some fruits. My favorite fruits are like berries. Um, raspberries are my favorite. And um, I do lots of vegetables, you know, like broccoli and cauliflower and asparagus, Brussels sprouts. Those, that's where I get most of my carbs. That's how I feel the best. I've never felt better than when I'm eating high protein and low carb. But I do realize that this may not be a diet or a lifestyle for everyone. Everyone's different, you know. You might feel better on a vegetarian diet or a paleo diet or carnivore. Um, you know, we're all different. And so I'm not trying to convince you to eat the way I do. What I try to teach people is play around with your diet try different foods, see what you like, try vegetarian for a while, try carnivore for a while, try low carb for a while and see what, how you feel, you know, what you feel the best on because that's how you're going to figure out, you know, the best diet for you. You know, food can truly change the way you feel, good or bad. So just keep that in mind and you know, again, just play around with foods and with different lifestyles and ways of eating to figure out what's best for you. Um, so I'd like to know your opinion on this. What diet do you like or what way of eating do you like? And, um, you know, what makes you feel your best? I'd love to know in the comments what what you stick with. And if you want help figuring out uh, the best plan for you, um, I do health coaching and I'm a nutritionist. So if you ever want help with that or need some guidance on that, we can always set up a, um, a call to figure out what we can do about how you're eating. Um, I also want to tell you if, if you want support, with your healthier lifestyle, I do have a Facebook group. It's called Sugarholics, Let's Kick the Habit. And in that group, I just give support and give you tips on nutrition and health. And 
you know, I just try to uh, be there for the members and, uh, you know, give you tips and give you advice. And anyway, I also have a YouTube channel that I've started. If you're interested, it's Nutraholic Health Coaching. And, you know, I have more videos like this one if you're interested and if you like this uh, content, just you can go over there and subscribe to me there and watch all my videos. Um, but that's all I have for today and I hope y'all have a great day.